you thinking about how much the market is priced for in terms of Fed action and, and hot inflation numbers and what we should be doing next? Well, the market this week started to price in seven hikes. I think that caused some of the volatility. We're focusing on three issues. That's geopolitical issues, inflation, and the sustainability of earnings growth. We're not surprised to see a bit of a breath, sigh of relief on the geopolitical issues today. Those tend to be local, and they don't cause long-term global volatility. But inflation is an issue. We've seen broad-based wage inflation. And also, in last week's CPI, it was not a shift of spending from goods to services. It was a spending in both areas. So that's definitely an issue for inflation going forward and whether economic growth can handle it. Our bottom line, though, is that earnings growth this year should be able to overcome both of these issues. And that leaves us moderately bullish for the markets because we're only in the early cycle of rate hikes. Intel set to buy Tower Semiconductor for $5.4 billion, sending shares of Tower surging up 42 percent. The acquisition gives Intel access to more specialized production as chip demand continues to rise. The entire chip sector rallying today, led by NVIDIA, Marvell and Micron. When I saw the headline of this earlier, I thought it was saying they're buying TSMC. I just saw the TSM <laughs> yeah. part and I thought, how on earth did they, they manage that? But, but it would be the other direction, yeah, actually. The, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was a bizarre, bizarre announcement. But uh, Intel's higher as well today, yeah. Mike, and, and some kind of initial reaction to suggest it's a sort of defensive move rather than offensive one. But the market likes it. The market uh, definitely sees it as incremental progress. Um, it's not transformative. It's $6 billion. It's 3% of Intel's market cap. It's in cash, uh, but probably also not a game changer. I think it's, I think they sort of applaud the, the general sense of aggressiveness that Intel's trying to beef up in terms of manufacturing capacity in, in foundry, uh, but maybe not the, the, the deal that gets them over the, the edge competitively necessarily. So uh, I don't think it's an outright negative, but uh, again, it seems like not the first choice deal that, that Intel might have. It's interesting to make. that Intel shares are higher today, up yeah. one and a half percent off the deal. Sarah, your, your position on Intel or semis in general? Well, it's good for Tower, but it's unclear to us whether this is good for Intel. I agree with Mike. This is barely a dent in their business. Intel's been trying to get into the foundry business to make advanced products for many years now. They've not really had success with it. We're more of a proponent of TSMC. We like the semi cycle, but we like those companies that are already well positioned in it. And Intel has had challenges. Tower will bring some execution risk and really doesn't give them a strong flag in the ground in this industry. But more broadly, do you think that the, the semi sector is, is looking attractive here, more, more due for a breakout back higher, or, or could it retest those, those recent lows as, as rates go higher? We're more selective on semiconductor stocks, but definitely tight supply, and we just still see strong demand. We actually have started to see some easing of supply chains recently, which is not only positive for inflation, but helpful for these companies as they continue to build supply, and now we can get into products and get them into consumers' hands. But we're more selective. We prefer companies like TSMC that are already dominant in the sector rather than those that are trying to build capacity at this point.